edge. The sound came all the way up here. It's got to be out and that ball that angles away still is that problem and Muniba perishes to that. Pakistan have lost their first without runs on the board. And what a dream start. Dot, dot and now the wicket. It's that movement and significant movement across the left hand. I was just about to say, where's the slip, Sikander? Didn't need a slip. It's gone through to Mary Waldron. She's gone for a third ball duck. This one's hammered away. Good strike. The first signs of real aggression from Bisma Maharu. She's going to get off the mark with a boundary. That shape back into the left-hander. That's a nice, nice pickup shot. That's really well done. Now she had to improvise. She waited for that ball, that extra second, and then just closed the face of the bat. And she's played it behind the square, so she's actually dragged the ball from middle off. Oh, nicely done really nicely done she waited for that ball again and then just opens the face of the bat knowing that third man is inside the circle oh that's lofted nice pickup shot that is excellent Vispa Maruf is in some touch in this game and this shot showing it again up oh straight to the fielder Vispa Maruf as we were talking about that she was looking so good she has hit one straight to the fielder this is a big, big blow for Pakistan. The captain departs. Looking really aggressive. That she was premeditated shot, I would say, trying to go aerial. Otherwise, it was in her slot where she could have driven it along the ground. Sweeps it nicely, handsomely for four. That's a good start by Nidhadar. Oh, this time she's trying to slog it into the leg side, chopped on. It wasn't working for Javeria. Still, she was trying to find her way in a span of seven overs. Three down now for Pakistan. A superb start. Again, Javeria just trying, just forcing it. A bit of a nothing shot. You just probably cannot explain this, what she was trying to do. She was struggling. This time swept now. And will beat the fielder. That's how good she is with the sweep shot. Sweep Ola, as you say. This is because the way she hits it so forcefully. And the placement also has been spot on. That's a good looking shot. That's a good looking shot. And she's bisected those two fielders behind the square on the offside. There wasn't much gap between the two. But she's that placed that to perfection. Oh, that's very well done. Is that caught cleanly? That is, if it is, that's one of the best catches of the of the trip that Ireland has made here. They love the big stage. They love the big occasion. We saw Josh Starr in there at the T20 World Cup down under. Look at this. Oh, yes, a cracker from Louise Little. Ireland have their fourth. And very much moving into the ascendancy here in the first T20. Sahel's gone for eight. Pakistan, 56 for four. a boundary much needed boundary they like it yep yeah, probably got the future Nidadars in them somewhere that's a lovely shot it's in the air but that's away from the fielder that's a good shot by Nidadar in the end finding the gap perfectly for a perfect result Cuts. Another boundary. Yes, it is. This time to Ali Riaz. These two have the most sixes for Pakistan, but at the moment they're dealing in boundaries. And that's a brilliant shot. Taken the aerial route and with ease. She's cleared the boundary. That's Nidadar. Karamare thought that maybe she got the right pitch, but no. Good use of the feet, and that's what she can bring to the party. That is six number 24 for Nidharar. Perfectly done. That swing coming into play. The follow through also in perfect. The placement also. Elevation. Everything was right about this shot. Probably not the right length to be bowling to Nidharar when you have got mid off up in the circle. Does that ring a bell? Something that happened meanwhile she cuts one beautifully. Nidharar can do no wrong as this one has been. Slice towards that point boundary for four.
Oh, this will run away. Just guided it towards that fine leg boundary. It's a superb shot again by Nidadar. She knows she's got a job to do. Yeah, she goes to 50. That is her seventh 50 in her career. Second in Pakistan, first against Ireland, and third in the last seven innings that she's played for Pakistan. She's been a wonderful performer and she's delivering at the time the team needs it the most. Still time for Ireland to fight back though. Almost half a chance and it's just ricocheted off the left hand of Arlene Kelly. Mid off up in the circle, going to run away for four. Everything needed, Dar touches right now. It's turning to gold. Again lifts that one over extra and gets another boundary. Now she's toying with the field out there. She's just finding those gaps at will. This is going to be close and given. Full, straight, gone. Yep, she was down on one knee trying to hit it in the cow corner, but got it on the thigh. And since she was all the way down trying to get underneath that ball, she's been given a leg before immediately. Asif Yakub had no doubts whatsoever. Yeah, that would have crashed into leg stump. So they've got the prize wicket of Nidadar. Has she already done the damage? That's a big shot. Has she cleared it? I think she has, yes. Well, when Aisha hits one, it stays hit. And you can see it clearly. For a moment, long on thought she was in play. But then... They're pushing hard to get that second, and why not? It's the last ball. Take your chances on the throw, and they complete the second one. So Pakistan have managed to put 135 for 5 in their 20 overs with Nidadar leading the way with 60 of 43. Slashed away, a little bit of fortune to it, but it's going to run away for 4. Immediately a change in the intent from Lewis at the top of the order. We saw in the ODIs she was so pensive, so defensive. Heaved into the leg side, probably not the prettiest stroke, but Lewis won't mind too much about that. Bottom hand just coming through, picks the gap nicely between mid on and mid wicket. Two boundaries in the opening over. Hunter takes on. Ah, yes! Dar hit to mid on. Oh, that's sensational. It's Aliyah Riaz, only inches above the turf. Hunter's aggressive by nature, but it comes off the bottom half of the bat. And Riaz clings on to maybe the catch of the four games we've seen so far. It's sort of a deja vu. We saw Luis Little do that. It was quite similar catch, but this time Amy just trying to slog it into the leg side. Ah, oh, just managed to keep that hand onto the ball. It's a good catch. It's dying onto Alia Riaz. Amy Hunter, the big wicket, gone now on one island, one down on nine. Beautiful start from Prendergast, cut away. Look at the timing and the power that Prendergast has. That was no more than a push, and it's rattled away across the outfield. Prendergast goes downtown, that's where she loves it. Gets a good piece of it, I think it's not gonna quite go for six. Oh, the umpire disagrees, maybe inches over the rope. A good strike from Prendergast. That's a solid shot. Ireland on the move. Nidadar getting a taste of her own medicine, just trying to pitch it up. It was in the slot, just a shimmy down, a step taken out by Orla. Driven away, that'll be taking a lot of hard work in the deep. No, she's missed it completely. Javeria on that occasion, another boundary conceded. That's a good shot. He's gone through the gap, a boundary. Attacking Nashra Sandhu in her first over. Already got eight of the first five deliveries. Catch it! Catch it is the call, but just an over before that, Ali Riaz was asked to come inside the circle, so that is not guarded that boundary. One bounce into the fence and a big over. Nashra Sandhu giving 12. Ireland complete their 50. They're 52 for one in the power play. Completed their 50 runs inside that six overs. That's where the difference is. Pakistan score just. 35 runs, 32 rathers. 
No one kept close. She's asking for a stumping as she's been given. Oh, wow. But Javid didn't take time. I think that surprised everyone. So that's a blessing in disguise from somewhere. Yeah, more shocking than surprised. Yeah, but that, that, is, that is out. Definitely the foot is outside that line. Good umpire he is. Ran Javed. Gone. And Gabby Lewis has sadly probably hung her skipper out to dry a little bit here. I think they've run on the strength of the shot as much as anything. It was a sweep shot that went straight to the square leg fielder. And Laura Delaney simply stood no chance. The fans, they're clapping in the stands. That's suicide. Literally gifted the wicket here. Straight to the fielder, Javeria Khan had to move few inches to her right. And an easy throw and she wasn't in the frame. The finger goes up. And this was really a gift. And Lewis has played a brilliant stroke. That's great innovation. They're not going to hold back after the loss of their captain. They're going to keep going. She was excellent with the bat today. She's coming around the because she's just trying to create no space for the batter. But she still finds some. Gabby is looking very, very dangerous and very good. 43 for her in just 34. Edged. Everything's going Ireland's way. Nothing that a bowler or keeper can do about that. The thing is, that you go hard at it and you'll be rewarded. 49 now for Gabby Lewis. Single brings up the 50 for Gabby Lewis. Brilliant performance right up from the uh, opening slot. She's kept the attack onto the opposition. And she's managed to grab another 50, taking the side closer to that first win, which is a much-needed win. It's going to be history for them if they win this. And that will be some great achievement and with the help of some very calculated... They wanted one win. Slogs that one. Opportunity for Pakistan and Staken. Good catch in the deep. It's Fatima Sana who takes the catch. And Pakistan get a breakthrough as uh, the... Batter Ima Richardson has been dismissed for 16. Every wicket counts. They just want to break that momentum. Good catch taken. Yeah, that's what I thought. That she is the best chance Pakistan has to get a wicket. And she has delivered. She's been amongst runs. Oh, that's an opportunity, but I think she's safe. Yeah, beautifully bold, but as Lewis indicates, a turn on offer. That's great awareness. She knew she, she was beaten, but managed to get back. Smashed away. Really good strike. It's going to be four. Gabby Lewis is leading Ireland to what is going to be a famous victory here in Lahore. The Lahore Lions of Ireland are about to close it out here. Gabby Lewis, she was always one to watch for. I always liked her approach. Fatma Sana hunting for that Yorker. Missed it totally but not Gaby. She held her pose. She was asking to be punished. Driven and driven away for four. The scores are tied. Gabby Lewis is going to have a chance to hit the winning runs. Ireland, no, it's all but done. And this is sensational in Lahore. What are we witnessing here? History for Ireland. Look at that drive, that authority, that confidence. No fielder really could have done anything. Pakistan needs to learn and they need to learn quickly. Here it is. Just one run away from historic win. And there it is. History in Lahore for Ireland. Historic scenes. Gabby Lewis and Orla Prendergast have led Ireland to victory. And they have hammered Pakistan. They've beaten them out of sight by six wickets. They were nowhere in the ODI series, beaten by 128 runs and nine wickets. The Lahore Lions, they're Irish, and Ireland go 1-0 up in the series. Wasn't a good...